Hey guys, my name is Manjanath and in this video, I just want to talk about PPNV. So first question you might ask, what is PPNV or any kind of ENV in Python based projects? ENV is used to specifically install some kind of module or separate environment isolated from your actual Python installation from your Windows or Mac or Linux. So this is very useful if you are working with lot of python mod modules which you have to install specific version and you want to configure it so that it works whenever you have to install some other module for this particular thing so it works whenever there is like some kind of version conflict for some other project which you are working let me give you an example that is if you are working with Django 2 project on one system and in that system only if you want to install Django 3 and if you want to work on those two projects together then you require this environment so that whatever the modules required for Django 2 doesn't conflict with Django 3 and same way Django 3's environment also shouldn't conflict with Django 2 so we need to have some kind of virtual environment setup so there are a lot of way using which you can create a virtual environment in python but my favorite way would be using something called as pnv it's very nice package and if you are using something like node.js npm then you will find it very use useful and very easy to understand so First, we need to install this pip env. Uh, you can directly install it by saying uh, pip install pip env, but we'll just use some other command. If you are using Windows, make sure you just type python, uh, and if you are using Mac, just make sure you type python3 and dash m uh, pip install pip env. This will install the virtual environment. I already have installed, so I don't have to install it again. But if you are running this command for very first time, it will take some time and it will download some things from the internet and you will get the PPNV set up. So let's make sure it's installed properly. So I'll just type PPNV dash dash version. It should print the actual version of the PPNV installed. So I think I'm in the latest version. If you're if you're in some different version, then it's fine. As long as PPNV dash dash version shows some kind of output, you are good to go. So let me just create go to my projects folder and create a new project called as MK create new folder create new folder called as YouTube. And let me go inside it. It's just empty folder which I have created now. Let me just clear the screen now. Now we'll be creating one environment in this particular folder. It's very easy to create environment. You just have to type pip env shell. This will create environment inside this particular folder and good to go. See, already the environment is created and we are inside the pip env shell that is a virtual environment created and isolated from my actual environment actual python environment now let me just type some kind of command that is python see here we go i just typed python in this particular thing that is on my mac but still i'll be able to get the python shell this is because I created a virtual environment and proof that virtual environment is created in this particular folder is that is here there is one file called as pip file and you can also see here the folder name that is the environment name is also displayed so that you will be able to identify whether the environment is active or not if I just do exit then the environment is closed and now if i do python 
it opens up my default max python environment which is like 2.7 which is not recommended to use also so if i want if i want to get back to my same environment that is the environment of this particular folder i again have to type pip env shell and it will take me back to the environment where we have isolated our system environment from our virtual environment and here you can install whatever you want to install let me just show you very simple way to install django then we'll see if we want some other package we want to install so i'll just type pip env pip env install django so henceforth we are not going to use something called as pip install django we'll have to write pip env install django so that our virtual environment knows that we have installed this particular package and within a few seconds the django is installed and if i just cat the file which exists here that is pip file we will be able to see the django is installed already on this particular file and now let me just install something else also here pip env install requests and this will install another package called as request so that i will be able to show that whatever is happening is happening inside this environment not anywhere else on my system so if i again just cat the pip file the request module is also installed in this particular file so then let me just create a django project quickly here django admin start project test and so i can't use the test so i just test my youtube and it should create a new project it should create a new project and as you can see it have created a new django project if i just go inside this i will be able to see all the django file that is manage.py etc but this particular thing doesn't have any effect on my mac so that if i want to install something else for example i want specific version of django then i can point out and install it on separate folder where it won't conflict with this particular installation or my main python package also so that's it for this video guys and it's very nice to work with the python environment uh, just try it out you'll find it useful in your next project that's it see you soon don't forget to subscribe and like this video bye bye